Uh, so we're here on Minecraft. So that's one of the things about volunteering is is you get in the day you, you volunteer, you're in that day for free. So, and I think they're still taking volunteers. You can find out information on the website about volunteering. So if they're still looking for volunteers, then by all means, come in, volunteer. You sneak yourself in to go see Ralph Macchio, you know. Okay, I'm going to unmute Discord. Jeez. Okay, was that G's or cheese you were saying there as I unmuted? G's, because uh, I went through the uh, the overworld portal and immediately came into uh, a witch that poisoned me. Oh, geez. Yeah, got me down to like my first row of hearts just from that one poison. Um, Ember or Thorin, do either one of you have your magnet on still? Uh, I do, yes. I'm going to be taking that off right now. Okay, because uh, I, was, I was noticing, I have mine on too, but I was noticing wheat and seeds going into the ceiling. <laughs> so, I know you need this right away, so let me grab okay. that. Yep. Our, our boom boom machine. Song reference, not doing it. Don't want to do it. <laughs> Actually, that was more reference because it goes, it uses TNT and it's an implosion machine, so it's more of a boom boom thing by itself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where would you like me to put it? I don't know if it takes power, so um, for right now, go ahead and pull one of the uh, capacitors in the machine room, and you can just put it in there. Uh, it uses FE. But I think it's, it can still get that out of the copper cable and then in the other power source. Let me get the sound back on here. As Minecraft decides it was okay, still funky. Okay, so machine room? Yes. Is there any particular machine that we don't need anymore? That's what I was saying. Pull one of the capacitors. We really don't need those, those there anymore. Actually, I'll just pull one of these capacitors and put that in its place. Um. Oh no! My, my my computer's just decided to go wonky, so I all I can see is a black and white. Screen. Oh no! What's the oh no? Well, I placed the. Oh, hello. Uh, hey, foxes. Uh, uh, I placed. Minecraft is crashed. I, I placed it down to check to see if it needed power, and then I broke it with my pickaxe, and the only thing I got back out of it was the advanced machine frame. So you got to make everything else back again. My it broke it. And I also pressed the wrong keys. It broke it. it. Everything broke it. it did. I think I've got some a few things break it in here. Are you guys crashing too? No. Okay, so that's just me. I just had the the achievement that I, we just unlocked just completely nuke itself <laughs> it undid itself or it's just gone it like the only thing i received back from breaking the block was a single uh, advanced machine frame oh yeah didn't, didn't get the block back bye -bye. yeah he didn't get the block back just the machine frame maybe maybe you should use some touch I don't have some touch. Well, I, I think there's a wrench you can use from that mod to, do, to uh, pick those blocks up, too. Oh, no. Uh, also, I should never press Alt-Shift-G again, because apparently that crashes my game. Uh, no, Mary, you didn't. All of Ember's work just went bye-bye on me. <laughs> I think the biggest part of that, though, was the uh, advanced machine frame. For what it takes to get those. Well, thankfully, we already had some in the system. So I need some diamond spikes. Now it's just remaking some of the other components, like the advanced yes. electron circuit. 
Okay. Okay, um, I need to get out of the game. Uh, am I still showing as connected to you guys? Uh, I no, don't know. The I'm not in. I have to restart. The only person that's in this server right now is me. Okay, yeah, because I my, my game has gone really wonky. Okay, so I have we have one electron there circuit. It goes. Now it exists. Okay. Now the now the Minecraft is here. So now I have to reload the whole pack all over again. Yeah, just I I heard my little Hey, there you are. Ah! I think that might have been a bit too many blocks. So Mary, you've I got a split screen effect to too. Do, so <laughs> But not 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 in a good way. Yeah, that was a bit too many blocks. Okay, so I can put that away. That away. To make these, I need to do glowstone and lapis. I got two glowstone already. And it's... Trying to make an electric crackle. Yeah, that's that's that, that's that. Laptops aren't supposed to make that sound or do that. A bucket. Ow. That's that. That's usually so, something very very unhealthy has happened to that poor laptop to do that. And I need ten. I can't put that. That's the bite, so I did that. I think there's one particular mod that does that. Apparently, Tech Reborn. So it sits in your office, huh? Um, bumped or knocked over? Do you take it? Have it? Taking it anywhere? Does it travel at all with you? That was just annoying, though. Jeez. Alright. Uh... Close it in the oh, screen. Right. This so, so much power. guess, you know, without, without sitting down and And I'm probably going to get a little stuttery and stoppery here as the, the pack loads. Um, the hinges are probably starting to wear out. They probably Back dry out, down. get a little stiff. So uh, when you went to close it, down. the hinge didn't close, but in. the screen still tried to move. So it, it did that little split there. Because that looked like it was right near one of the hinge points, too. So yep, I'd be willing to bet that hinge didn't move and that just split the screen between the front and back as he closed it. Ah, shoot! I didn't grab enough lappies. <laughs> well, we should still have a bit. Yeah, 1800. Yeah. Uh... We might want to look into gathering some more redstone one of these days, though. Weird noise at the hinge. Yep. 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 I can continue mining out the underneath of our base. That's where the majority of the redstone has been coming from. 
I, well, that's something we can think about and work on doing off stream. True. So pack is reloading. Pack there. Pack is reloading now. Didn't take too long to rebuild that. Why does it say input multi-block? Yes, this will work. Where does it say input multi-block? Uh. Uh, Elgar, if you come down here to the machine um. room. Oh, wait a minute. What's... Oh... I think I might know what this thing. Oh shoot, we're not gonna be able to put it in the mo in the machine room, or at least not right there. We'll have to have to build a wall out or something. If I um, yeah, uh, yep, I mean, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm remembering. <laughs> are you even on the server yet? No, my pack is reloading. Hello. Ah, okay. Because I don't even know what it's showing for the remainder of the multi-block. I'm I'd, I have to uh, I'd have to get in and check the Tech Reborn stuff in JEI to remember. But yeah, it's a small... Have you ever worked with uh, Extreme Reactors? Uh, only a little bit, not extensively. Same kind of concept. You've got uh, one type of block that's your framework, and then that piece that you have is the controller piece basically oh okay but this is limited in its size you know like the extreme reactors you can build to whatever size you want this is it's a specific size and shape okay so we're gonna need a uh, silk touch pickaxe heavy to metal. be able to put um, this compressor back up then heavy metal is the streaming team that i'm a part of uh which i or don't have or, or check check JEI for a wrench or other kind of tool with, under the Tech Reborn mod. Um, Heavy Metal, is that that is the website for the uh, team that I'm on, Positive AF. Um, they probably originally had the, the team name of Heavy Metal when they made the Twitch site. But they've, you know, since they changed the team name, they can't change the team site. Without, you know, because it's... There's a ton of things that uh -huh. Twitch can't yes, redo. Yes, there is a, a wrench. And it uses bronze. Uh, which we should have a bunch of. Um, I have wrench. Hey, Alec Nor, I can... We can automatically kill Enderman now. You've got Killer Joe made? Nope. Minecraft, Why? Then, if, if without Killer Joe, how do we automatically kill them? Bikes. Ah, okay, yes. Um, do we have any way to uh, automatically gather the drop? Yes, a vacuum chest. Vacuum chest or vacuum hopper? Vacuum chest. Okay, there then va no vacuum hopper. That's, that's what I wasn't sure of. Vacuum chest to a uh, with an item transfer node to an ender chest to feed into the ME system. Not yet. Also, Minecraft keeps crashing. Yeah. Are I'm you the only one. Is it just me? Yeah, it's just you because I'm still in. All right, I'm going to re I'm going to reinstall the pack. Okay, so it needs these reinforced machine. Oh, but yeah, you ow. can go to. You can go to that that uh, team heavy metal uh, and see everybody else that's on the fluid. team, and um, not rotten flesh. See who's live. When I'm looking for somebody to raid at the end of my stream, um, when I'm looking for a raid at the end of my stream, that's one of the first places I go is to see what other team members are live. I'm going to put this. Compressor outside um, for right now. The team is a mix between uh, gaming and uh, creative yep. streamers. 
Uh, it's led, led by the wonderful Fairy Wings. So the, the, the basic general concept is, is we want to bring positivity, positivity to the world, but we know not everything okay, is positive. So it's just three lights directly underneath it of these so um, it's, it's positivity but not toxic positivity reinforced machine casings as soon as I get the pack free down with it yeah gonna need a handful of those machine casings I can't remember what the shape is I need to see it and I'll, I'll be there in just a minute it's three by three I I just uh, okay. popped the hologram for it okay So, do 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 do. Oh man, we don't have anything for that right now. <laughs> Make two of that, uh, two of the basic machine casings. Now I need to stop clicking on the wrong one in JEI. There we go. Deal plates. I need. Hopefully a reinstall fixes it. Twelve. You you may need to reboot. To do. What are you trying to do? What? What, Alecnor? You uh, a reboot of your computer probably wouldn't hurt either. No, that that happened earlier today. So I'm on a mission to get this implosion working, hopefully before you can even get on here, Elecnor, even though you're probably going to be getting on shortly. I'm, I'm harvesting hemp right behind you. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is an alien on. <laughs> I'm, re I'm launching the pack again after re-downloading it. That was a nice quick little download. Yes, all 146 mods. And I saved all my options and the server. Nice. Because that's just two files. <sighs> okay. No, my mine has crashed twice so far. See, my mine didn't cr crash so much as go visually wonky. Mine did that with a crash twice. <laughs> oh, an Elecnor? <laughs> and I really hope this is going to become a running thing. One, okay. Let's see here. I need... Oh, good. We, we have two buckets of solder in the ME system, and that's all I need. <laughs> Well, I filled the um, assembler with four buckets earlier, so those were extras. Uh, I had to break the assembler to put the red, uh, unstable oh. redstone in. <laughs> because you can't pull it out once you take uh, once you put it in. Ah. Uh. Now something I found out <laughs> been saying it wrong. Before. Well, um, there's a uh, there's somebody else uh, that pops in every now and then. I visit her stream yeah, occasionally. She's been calling me Elkinor. So, hey, Rope Blade, well, it, how you doing? Really, the assembler that we're using is not the one that um, they recommend to make these uh, electron circuits. I don't know so much recommend as just alphabetically comes first. Oh yeah, the that. electronic circuits. Yeah, assembling machine versus assembler. Yeah. Okay, the game is back. Okay. 
Yeah, it works stuff on Saturday. It works much easier. Oh. But I think we need other components to make the electronic circuit that we don't have or, or can easily get right now. Yeah. Hello, I... Uh... Hey! Uh, the first load errors again because I had to reinstall the pack. But he's kind of back. I am back. Grab some potatoes, get them cooking. I don't think I made enough. Probably didn't. Okay. Okay, potatoes are cooking. Yeah, I know. So sometimes they, uh. I'm about to find out. So it's more like elect nor. <laughs> it does. Actually, I get sometimes. Sometimes I'm, I'm called Eleanor too. People just don't read it all the way. Hey, elect nor. Can you get me one of those uh, Ender chests? Oh, I still need to make the carbon plate and the advanced alloy plate. Uh, yeah. Where are you, foxes? Oh, there you are. Okay, it's behind you. I picked it up. Eleanor, yeah. <laughs> well, usually that's people. I'm, I'm first time in their stream. They don't know me. They haven't seen me before. You were cutting out uh, their... I'm guessing it's going to be connecting to the ME system. Yeah, yeah. that's that's why I left it the, the triple white, because that's what the uh, ME system inputs from. Ah. Oh yeah, at least no items are gonna fall into the void here. The vacuum chest will just pick them up. See, where, where are you setting this up at? Uh, on floating island so the endermen don't teleport away. Actually, given the, the spikes, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, they can't teleport all the way out here. You'll just see a uh, blue square on the minimap. So basically the west. Uh... How much power do we produce? Because I want to make sure leaving this running isn't going to drain our power completely. Um, well, we have the two di diesel generators and we have the compression uh, dynamo. The compression dynamo is currently on. The diesel generators are not. This thing is using almost 4,000 RF per tick. Um. Yeah, that's a bit much. Yeah. I mean, with 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 the diesel generators, as long as we don't have the um, pump jack or excavator running, we should be fine. Yeah. Eleanor Rigby. <laughs> Eleanor Rigby. Yeah. We will need to improve power. Yeah. Quite a bit. Probably double it. Just to be safe. Four. I don't want the, uh... Which... Oh, no. That would be... Hmm. Also, be careful not to touch the spikes. I want to check something here. Off the top of your head, does anybody know the FE to RF conversion rate? It should be one to one. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's one to one. I know the um, IF to RF is. And what's FE to IF? Well, FE to RF. And this thing, this thing then converts to micro infinities. Which means it's all of the conversions. Alright, I'm gonna be making up some more solder. Yeah, 
Which mod uses FE? The, the Tech Reborn. Oh. I mean, I know I'm. I'm sure the the energy and energy conduit we have will can will work with both. I'm more just thinking number wise, because there's some solar cells that I'm thinking we could put in the overworld. Um, get, get your things done. See you later, Mary's Big Bling. And put solar cell. All? Put solar cells in the overworld. Solar arrays. Um. But like, yo, is 256k FE enough? It. Or no, it generates 256 FE during the day, and 32 FE during the night. Or there's another one that does 2,000 FE, but is, how much RF is that? No solar cells for me. Uh, if we convert it to battery, so both give a lithium so cells, one to one. clay dust, and the industrial electrolyzer. Should be an R or two different things though. FE is one RF. Yes. So it's a, it's a one to one, okay. It is just one to one. At least it's not EU because that would be. Actually, no, EU would be better because then it would be four to one. One to four. Four RF for EU. But yeah, FE is. FE and RF are just the same thing. And the IF is apparently just an implementation of FE, so is Micro Infinity, so those are also one to one. Yeah. It's basically just the same thing. Which I, I, I figured might be true, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. FE is just Forge's generalized version of RF. Okay. <laughs> Joy. Uh, just as warning, I'm going to turn on the diesel generators. Uh, this mod pack has 146 mods that it has to download and how many it loads? Uh, one second. Uh, yeah, this is the levitated mod pack. I have a command for that. I just can't remember what it is. As off a the top full of my warning, head. we're starting to get a little low on the um, the copper insulated copper cable. Oh. Do we need more copper, or do we just need more of the cable? I think we just need more of the cable. Son of a... Yeah, we, we are definitely not running low on copper on its own. We have 4,477 and 4, 497 blocks. I'm missing one reinforced machine casing. One! <laughs> there is a way to make a singular one, though. So, where did it go? There it is. A standard machine casing. <laughs> How yep. much insulated copper cable do you want? Um, that. Might as well just make a stack of it for right now. Oh, buddy. Oh, goody. Oh, wait. Cancel. Killing field. Now we're running low on rubber. Okay. We have plenty of rubber. We just need to smelt it. Yeah. I, th I think we have a tree that's doing it. Yeah, we do. Well, that was defective. But yeah, the flux points go interdimensional. So yes. I think, Alec your idea of putting a bunch of solar arrays in the overworld would be good. I mean, I'd be kind of curious to see how well if they function here, um, just for chunk loading reasons. I mean, considering the solar panels work fine. Yeah, that's why. That's what I'm saying. 
Let's try that one again. Okay, well, I can't put a healer down again. So. Even if the lighting is a bit weird in some places. Let's see. So for the reinforced machine casings that, that are whatever the the reinforced machine casings that from Tech Reborn, it's actually cheaper to make them directly than it is to go, do the simple to to the alt, to the big size. Surprisingly. I'll make the standard machine casing to the uh, reinforced instead of the advanced machine frame to the reinforced. Right. Okay. I see we need the, I hadn't looked at the, uh, the advanced electronic circuit yet. So I see why now you needed the uh, destabilized redstone. Okay, yep, yep, we got the rubber tree going. Hello, Eleanor. Hello, foxes. So that's just an A. Hey, that hurt. <laughs> oh, quit it. <laughs> okay. Yep, got some more rubbers cooking. Never have enough rubber. Okay. So you have that uh, that vacuum chest piping to into the ME system, right? Uh, it should be. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna set up another Ender Chest duo to uh, take out the Ender Pearls and put them in the uh, um, Ender Generator. All right. Well, it's not running right now. So. Ember's picking on us for our rubber jokes again. Actually, Keep... why not make more Ender generators since the Ender pearls last quite a while? We've been cooking through all the Ender pearls I've, we have, and that I've been putting in there. So right now, I think more Ender Generators, we'd cook through even more Ender Pearls. Why is there an Ender Mike? It's a random spawn from the generator. That's the only negative to that particular generator, is that it generates an Ender Mike. So just put it in a closed space. Or just stab it, like I did. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I see. You have uh, 10 upgrades there. That is why you're cooking through the Ender Pearl so quickly. But we're consuming that power, you know, just as fast as generating. Okay. That's the reason why we have to turn the diesel generators on, and those are just going to continuously burn through the uh, the biodiesel that we have. So, trying to find a more sustainable power generation is going to be yep. substantially important here soon. They're, the the diesel generators are actually, I think, spit and sputtering right now. Uh, they have fuel, but there's not a high demand at the moment. Yeah, it's so. using about forty buckets per second, forty to eighty. What? Did Elknor take the wires? Did, I was going to say, did Elknor uh, take off the Enderman again? No, it just got hurt. Well, yeah, the the high uh, high voltage cabling that we have is not insulated, so they walk into it, they're going to get zapped. But at the same time, so are we. Yeah. But we're we should be smarter to go around it than they are. 
Well, not if we're moving at high speed. But... And I say it should be. <laughs> we aren't. Take a fox unit. <laughs> okay. Elnor is still a turret. <laughs> no, I'm a. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why are, we, why are we all going to so many places? What do you mean? Uh, I don't know. Because I, I'm still working on getting the, the last of this explosion, com, implosion thing going. A thing? Explosion, implosion th thingy. Thing. The... the... The implosion compressor? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, <laughs> 31 of 32 channels. Come out of that total. 3 of 8 on that. 1, 2, and 3. No, they do exist, uh, uh, Ember. They're just hard. Seven of eight right there. Okay. okay so. so actually if I do... I may have caused an enderman to teleport into the oblivion. I've done that quite a few times. Not even teleport into the void, just it's gone. Okay. It erased itself by teleporting. We can export bus. Device missing channel. Okay, online. Eight of eight, going to there. Thirty-two. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to fly through the spikes. Oh, the the generators were having a nice beat going on there for a minute, and then it stopped. Okay, Alec Nor, uh, your implosion thing just needs power now. Already? It's right outside by the squeezer. Okay. Why did the mob spawner have an octatic capacitor? Because loot table. Actually, taking that down one capacitor tier might save us a little bit of power. It should. But do we okay. have that capacitor tier? <sighs> I mean, we probably could make it. Well, we need grains of infinity. Which we have. Yeah, we got quite a few of those. Uh, yes, but are they in the ME system? Yep. Are you sure? Industrial analyzer. I have no clue what this does. Alec, no, are you sure? The last time I checked, there was lots of grains of infinity in there, yes. If not, it's real easy to make more. Yes, it is easy. Okay. Hey, Elignor, uh, these two um, new machines that Ember got ready for us, I'm going to put them in the ME system. Okay. The industrialized blast furnace, I think, would be work would work really well for automation. Okay. And the en energyizer, I have no clue what that does, so... Yeah. 
Um, I'm showing incomplete multi-block on this uh, implosion compressor. It, mm -hmm. Hold on, let me grab the wrench. Okay. So maybe it goes higher than what it already is? Because I thought it was just a 3x3 three three underneath it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> if I'm looking at this right, it's a three by three by three. Three by three by three? Yep. Okay, so what do we need? Yeah. One second here, I'm gonna... That did not change its power consumption at all. Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's still consuming yeah. the same amount of power. Okay. Um, it sits on top of a 3x3x3 three by three by three block of those... Uh, looks like those reinforced casings. So we need to make more of these casings. Yeah. All right. Uh, you mind putting down the other... Yeah. Putting them down. <laughs> okay, so... I will go... Just basic faster then. Actually, wait. We could just limit the. See, I think it'll it'll hold more power and yeah. work faster with the uh, capacitor in there. Elignor, can we sustain 500 RF per tick? With nothing else charging and the generators running, yes. Because what, what's the lo what's the maximum we can run this thing on with everything else still being on? Let me double check my uh, engineer's manual on what, how much the uh, diesel generators output. Um, I'm trying to see automation steel plates. How do we do that? That's a processing pattern, if memory serves me right. Uh, yeah, processing pattern, and then it'll go into the compressor if the steel plates can be made that way. Uh, 4,096 flux per tick is what the generator's output. And what all is being used? With everything uh, on? Right now, I'm showing... 1640. Okay, so 1500 is fine. Yeah, because that'll put us about 3000. It's on 1500 right now. So it's up and running right now? Yeah. Okay, so that 1500 is part of the 1640 then. So if I set it to 3000? That puts us at 3140 of the 4000 one generator puts out. And we've got both running, so we're, we're okay, but I wouldn't want to start putting a lot of heavy machines on it. I'll, I'll leave it at 2,000 and we can lower it if we end up needing more. Okay.
Why does it say it's missing the mold plate? Yeah, that'll be about once every okay. 30 seconds we'll get Enderman spawning. Did I do that wrong? What That's... What do you... Uh, is it a... Um, did, are you at the press right up there in the generator room? No, I'm at the, um, the ME system. To okay. program in the, the steel plate, which it does go into compactor. It's just... I think I did the drive wrong. Uh, so I'm going to shift click to clear it. Yeah, because you, you, you've got the recipe set up like we're, we're doing it at the metal press, not the one for the compactor. Okay, so how do I do it at the compactor? Just remove the plate? Let me double check it. Yeah. Yeah, stealing it just goes to a steel plate of the compactor, yep. Got it. So that fixes that issue. <laughs> hey, Eleanor, would a higher or lower priority make the uh, the thing be powered after everything else? Higher? A uh, lower priority? Because uh, it... I don't, we really don't have anything set up for priorities. Okay, so that's that. The, the only priority I've set for anything at all in here is in the uh, ME system. I've got the drawers a higher priority than anything else. So that if there's stuff in a drawer, it'll go in that first. Uh, and yeah, there's, there's still six grains of infinity in there. Yeah, I went and got ten. Just a heads up, if anybody decides to... Uh, Farm the Ender Dragon some more. That'll get you grains of infinity that way, too. I wonder if there's a way you can be automated. <sighs> if Flint and Steel wasn't so fragile, I'd say yes. Well, we could just use Perothium. Perothium lights stuff on fire. And we could just break the fire around it. So it's not automatically. And 11 more. See, I, I know how to... Yeah, because the pyrothium would make the fire. I don't know how to... Would an automa automated user break fire and collect the... Uh, one way to find out. Yeah, go ahead and make one and give it a shot. I should still have some, I think. Automated users or pyrothium? I, I still have seven mechanical users, yep. Okay, yeah. only problem is if I did it at the uh, center and island that would cause pro that would possibly get destroyed whenever someone fights the dragon and there's not really a way to do it at the gateways well we'll just just be aware we'll just have to be aware of that if somebody goes to fight the dragon oh actually no I can set it up on this on this gateway just block around yeah yeah Okay, so I thought it to do that and that. Make a pyrothium pool. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have quite enough pyrothium for that. Well, with the flow, that'll fill in most of that. It's, it'd only be one bedrock, though. So, I'd prefer if it was oh. one block wood. Hey, Guardian, how you doing? Sorry, I'm, I'm distracted. We've got a lot... <laughs> We got a lot going on. Off this, uh, something is zapped. Oh, yeah. Get ch check chat here. Okay. So how you doing I today, Guardian? Taught the molecular assembler how to do the basic machine frame and the advanced machine frame. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay. I'm currently working on the electron circuits. And I lost a mechanical user from the fire. From Alaska? Ooh! Maybe I should have placed those first. <coughs> Talk about places to go up and chill out. How's the seaster up there? How's the weather up um, there? Left click. Uh, 
I think it did break the fire. Oh, it, it uses grid power too. Uh, the grid power would, uh, I think, just to accelerate it if we put any speed upgrades in it. Okay, so it needs an item there. Some sort. Uh, probably to, to hit the fire with to put it out. Yeah. Get the torch. Well, clicking it, clicking it works better. It's like... I saw her already. Oh. But see, it, it needs to burn for a minute before it'll make the grains of infinity. Yeah, that's the only problem. Well, it can happen instantly. It's but the, the longer it burns, the better your chances of getting the grains of infinity. Right. Did it just get one? I did. I hit it. It's the same Perothium does not just stay floating. Yep, yep. Looks like just when the Perothium gets put down that it makes the flames. No, it does when it blows too. Yeah, see it's 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 putting it putting the fire out too quick. I can do to increase how much fire. Oh, that's uh too far. Uh, how is it? Okay, I'm gonna want that one block lower then. <laughs> Um, and actually, uh, um, Thorin, if you need more yes. solder, there's a bunch of powdered solder in the, uh, ME system. You can put that into buckets and just right-click a fire, and it'll turn the, the solder bucket, it'll put liquid solder down, and you can pick it up. Or I can just throw it in the smeltery like I did. Oh, does it, the, that works with the powdered solder, too? Yeah, it'll take the powdered solder, or you can oh, okay. put the tin and lead in. And here I go pissing off an Enderman again. Okay, so I have just confirmed that it can actually produce uh, grains of infinity even at this speed. Okay. It is just far less likely. But if it's doing it often enough, uh, it's automatically. Often enough. <laughs> it's automatic, it's just slow. So if there's enough fire, Fire bad. If there's okay. enough fire. Wait. Hang on. If the fire is here, that does not set that on fire. Oh, that sets everything on fire. <laughs> this is not what I meant to do. It does have to be placing that the uh, perothium though. Yeah. Okay, so then, when it makes the grains of infinity, how do we collect them? With a vacuum chest, probably. Okay, uh, I'll go make another uh, ender chest and item transfer node set up, the pipes. If you want I to make... do not have a vacuum chest, can you make one of those as well? I was going to say, if you want to make the vacuum chest, but I'll make them all, yeah.
And Man, those we'll diesel are running for the entire stream. See how many it makes. <laughs> those diesel generators are really going today. Vacuum chest. Ender or chest. We could, hook, we could hook it up to a redstone clock and, and make it only tick every so often. I don't think we have an adjustable redstone clock in here. No, like a repeater based one. Oh. What <laughs> we're trying to do we're trying to I automate of manufacturing of grains of infinity. Um Let me let me let me because this can be set to redstone on. Items. Transfer pipe. Okay. Am I good? Am I good? Am I good? Um. Because grains of infinity. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Got the. It actually did math right. Yep. I heard that one make. Yep. If you bring me some uh, redstone, I can okay. make it so that this goes off once every so often. Okay. I'm going to increase that back by one. This is not going to look good at all, though. Oh no! Okay. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! 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 So, I gotta make some more refined steel. Because yeah, the grains of infinity, the fire has to be put out. Because it has to be a bedrock in here. Collect it. All right. Now I'm going to get some repeaters. No, see, this this is we're we're lighting bedrock on fire, but in the end, bedrock burns infinitely. So we've got a mechanical user placing and picking up pyrothium because each time pyrothium puts down, it ignites things nearby. Well, should be enough. So when the pyrothium gets put down, it ignites these bedrock, this bedrock, and then these mechanical users. Will auto click to put the fire out. So then, when they put the fire out, this vacuum chest picks up the grains of infinity <laughs> and pumps it into the ME system. <laughs> yeah, that that might be a different thing for this particular pack. Is how bedrock looks because that, that that is a different looking bedrock than I'm used to. That might just be the bedrock here in the end too. Okay, so during the next coming week, we need to make some more refined steel. Okay, Ember had figured out a way to do that um, quickly. Um, n see, Guardian, normally, hey, Alex, yes. Do you mind uh, moving that... Moving what? That, uh, that uh, node. Out of the top instead? Yeah. Um, when when you're looking at so what are the early things in this pack? I think it it's for the grains of infinity itself. More than long enough for more grains of infinity. Yeah. Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. nope, it's not there. It's uh, is it here? I don't think that did anything. This fire is extinguished natural manually. This bedrock in the end burns forever, so you'll have to put it out manually. Um, and I don't have another redstone. So, it, I think it, Bedrock, anywhere else, would go out and the Grains of Infinity would pop. Here, the Bedrock will burn forever, so you have to manually put it out. Now, the longer you let it burn, the better your chance of getting the Grains of Infinity. But, you know, we'll take low chances. 
Uh, for, Why is he uh, still saying incomplete multi-structure? Okay. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a hunch here. Wait. Do you see? Uh, do you have that wrench? Yeah. Take out the very middle block. There we go. Yep, doesn't say <sighs> doesn't say incomplete now, so. All right. Okay. So now this is now set up for what you needed Why? to. Why? Why does it have to be like this? What do you got going on there, foxes? Uh. You'll see. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh, Elknor, did you happen to work on the stuff for getting the daisy or lily for the overworld? For the orchid. Orchid, yes. Um, we need <laughs> we need sapphires for that. Only way we can get sapphires right now is with a tier two void ore miner. So we need to make the tier one, have it collect a certain crystal resource. Its name escapes me at the moment. And then get enough of those to make the tier two, and then we can have the tier two get the sapphires. And we need one of those for the orchid. But we need to find a ruby to make the tier one. That's what you just finished building with one of the cent with the centrifuge. One of the centrifuges that was recently made. We can spin red. We can spin ruby dust out of redstone. Oh, we put the okay. ruby dust with TNT in that implosion machine you just made, boom, we get Ruby. Okay, so I'm going to go put some redstone in the centrifuge. I think we have two. Let me double check the right one. Here. Oh. Well, we have yeah, a bunch of Ruby dust. Oh, we have Ruby dust already? Yeah, yeah, the industrial centrifuge. centrifuge. Yeah, this uh, uh, only breaks these breaks the fire every a little under two and a half seconds. So, uh, yeah, wait, wait, hi, camp, hi, oh, hi, it's Addy. Ten plus an empty cell. Okay. Ten plus four empty cells. And then four four ruby dust and sixteen TNT gets us three rubies and twelve dark ashes. So, do we need more dust? Is that what we need? Right, no. Right now, there's I've, I'm grabbing twenty four dust. I'm just gonna need to make some more TNT. I can start working on that. I just made forty five. Okay, so if I'm doing six... I'm actually, trying to help you, man. Well, you helped quite a bit making this machine. <laughs> so that's that four. thing was a bear, too. So 12 would be Apparently three, 16 would be 48. So I'm tossing in 12 ruby dust and 48 TNT. Oh, that goes actually pretty quick. Yeah, it does. Okay, okay so, that, so that, yeah. What can I start making for the void, uh, void miner? Okay, I've got the controller ready to go. I just don't remember what all blocks it needs to sit on. 
Aha. So okay, so hi Addy, yes, hi Addy. Isn't it self constructing though, if memory serves me right? You there there's a like a wand or a device you need to make to do it, but you still need to have the necessary blocks in your inventory. Controller, tier one, diode. Nope, I need the uh Okay, so it's in crystal. environmental tech. Ah, let me guess. You found two of those electronic circuits in the ME system and used them, didn't you? No, I'm, those are ones that I made. I thought I had a couple in there. There's two advanced and, ones in there. I need the simple ones. Which the simple ones are easy to make. It, it's just yeah. uh, a refined um, a refined steel, which I did make some more up here. We got 18 more. I'll put that in the uh, ME system right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna need two. We're gonna start need to making more steel as well. Uh, no, I need them. I need the circuit. Um, and it was uh the copper. I suppose making this go faster. I guess. So we need okay. structure frame tier one is what we need to make. Right, but how many? And we need the assembler, which is. Yeah, the assembler is what you right click with to make, have it all put itself together. Yeah, which is a lithrite crystal and obsidian, which I believe we have. Um, lithite crystals we should be able to make. Yeah, we need to make it. Uh, I just made four. Okay. I now have the assembler wand. And is there an environmental tech book? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I don't know. Uh, you know, the last couple of times I've done it, I've, I've built one. I've had to, uh, Google it and look up like on a wiki what all you needed. Now you said you just put the solder power powder in the uh, smeltery, right? Yeah, it, it should work. There's 18 buckets of solder in there. Because yeah, I put four solder powder in there. It says item can't be molten. Oh. That's right. You can't do the powder. You can just, I just, um, like, for instance, when I filled that up, I just put a stack of tin and a stack of lead in there. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. So I'm going to need a second bucket. So I got to make this two, two of those circuits. And let's see here. Void miner. Uh, specify ore. Well, I don't think it matters because there's void ore miner, void resource miner. But I think the framework and everything is the same on all of them. <clears throat> yeah, tier one, and then there's tier two. Right, we're doing the tier one. Uh, I don't care about output. All right, 24 structure frame tier one, 20 uh, structure panels, two laser cores, and a laser lens. Here, the diode, the energy crystal. So, okay. frame tier one. Oh, I need more of those crystals. I need a lot more of those crystals. Okay, we have the we have the controller made. So, etch book. Oh, environmental called work. Okay. Oops. We're uh, out of flint. 
Go there. Go there. It's been so long. How, how did we get flint? <laughs> well, um, we could probably jump into the overworld and just mine a whole ton of gravel. And we're also out of the inc uh, interconnects. Okay. So uh. I will go find some gravel in the overworld. If somebody doesn't mind taking care of the interconnects. I'll, I'll get the interconnects here in just a minute. Uh, Rope Blade just mentioned there might be an e environmental tech book called WIP. Whip. Yeah, like work work in progress. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm looking up in the JEI right now. Be gone, Skelly dude. That's late. Mica crystals. Structure panels. Clear structure panel. Lightning rod. Why is my hammer not doing a 3x3 three three in the overworld? Are you hitting gravel with it? Yeah. That's why, because gravel takes a shovel, you need to make an excavator. Oh. <laughs> Bugger. <sighs> Let me make, come home and make that real quick, then. Yeah, Roblade, I'm not seeing the, the work in progress right here. here. Well, hello, Rest of Guardians family. Hi. <laughs> Excavator is... Okay. That. All right. Okay. For the time being, the Void Ore Miner's in the ME system. I really should have interconnects on my... Actually, I need to do a battle, don't I? Is it just a regular tool like rod? Concrete. Oh. A tough tool. Powder. Okay. So actually, let's let's do this battle. I'm gonna do a battle here real quick. Okay. Alrighty, we got a little, little bit better, more forces here this time around. Cobalt. So I feel more confident in us. Pinstone. Uh, all right. All right. Got a win. And Got a Ember with the most kills. There is no assists. We just wiped the map with them. Going eight minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to randomize these out. Rope Blade and Ember getting the Warrior oh. Scrolls. Oh. Uh, so because I've got a quest to take out these blobby guys. Many of them. There we go. Move down here next. So. Blobbler. Splashy Bakemon that's also a war criminal. Type Water. Bake evolves into Omega Belzeblob if it survives long enough. <laughs> okay. So what do I, what's, what types are these? Supports. So yeah, I'm gonna you know what, I'm gonna throw in my rogue on this one. Try to take out a couple of those guys down there. Tough finding. Sure. My guys grabbed the gem and stood there. <laughs> There's probably something important or about the gem itself that I didn't read on their rope. But next battle's up. So, okay. Okay, and I'm making interconnects. I need actually I need to turn these into concrete. Put in there. Take that. Place that. Go into the overworld for a minute. Yep. Uh. What are you looking for? <laughs> Concrete. Oh, okay. I was going to say, 
I I just put flint in there, so. so I've, I've got all these blocks of concrete powder to make into concrete for the interconnects. So it's just, I'll come over here, I'll just put them down in the standing water here and mine them up. We have no stone. We should have a ton of cobble if you just want to smelt it up. We do. But I got it to work. Nice. The automation is at, is the, uh, the 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 clock is absolutely horrible looking. I mean, would you expect anything less from it? I mean, Seriously, look at it. Oh, I'll come over and look after I'm done making this uh, excavator. It doesn't work every time, but it does work some of the time. So since we can just leave this running, I gotta keep putting down two. Also, I need exactly two more repeaters to make it so there's no straight lines of redstone in the actual clock. Ox, I'm flying it. Shoot. Wow, this freaking excavator head takes a lot of freaking cobalt. It takes all the cobalt. Eight. That's all the cobalt. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the more advanced uh, tools tend to do that. So I'm wondering how much is a, touch, a tough rod going to use? Uh, when you pick up the cast, it tells you, I want to say four? Uh, three. But you can make One, you make the tough rod out of iron if you wanted to. A 168 clock. A 168 tick clock. And now it seems to be pretty consistently working. That's about almost eight and a half seconds. Uh, Ember, we haven't done a lot at all, really, <laughs> because we're struggling right now. Well, we, we've got the, the Void Ore Miner controller made. We just need to set up the whole Void Ore Miner. Yeah, we have 34 grains of infinity now. 35. What are you two trying to do? We're currently working on the void, uh, tier one void or minor. Stuff. We, yeah. What do you need for it? Stuff. <laughs> That's and honestly what up? we need. Um. Well, I have half of the structure frame tier ones that are needed, but we still need um another. Uh. Structure. Uh, we need twenty st uh, structure panels. But we need concrete to do that. Uh, actually, uh, black concrete. I think so. There's a stack and a half of black concrete in the ME system. Hey, Delphic, how you doing? Uh, if you don't How's mind, the rest of Assassin's Creed? that up, then Fox. Uh, how many? We need twenty structure panels. Oh, the structure panels don't actually take concrete. No, they, yeah, they use uh, iron bars, gold nuggets, and connectors. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
So, it, yeah, um, 20 of them. I made too many. But well, well, we'll need more later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tier 2, t like, doubles that. I have 29. That's not double. Though. But but no, well, we can reuse the ones from the Tier 1 into Tier 2. Right. Uh, now, two laser cores. Actually... Need rhodium. Oh, that's not so bad. Next, and then one lens. Clear laser lens or crystal laser lens? Uh, clear. We can't make the crystal one yet. Any laser, any laser lens will work. But let's go clear for right now. I have a clear one. All right. So the only thing we're missing then is the um, the remaining twelve uh, structure frames. And what do those take? Oh. Got him. You got twelve. Yep. All right. Um, I have the other 12 on me, so... Uh, did you make the assembler? Yes, I did. Okay. And I have the panels, the lens, and the cores. There you go, just three of the panels that I had. So... Here okay. is that and that. Um, to the overworld? To the overworld. Because we need to see Bedrock? Or does it seem to need to see the Void? They, seeing the Void, I think, is all it needs. Oh, then we can just build it outside. Oh. Okay. So, Foxes, can I have those pieces, please? Uh, oh. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to build it right over here on this little island these Endermen are standing on. That one? That's you. That's not an Enderman. And it's the void it goes. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, the sound is nine by nine. Four, five, six, seven, so yep. What? It's not actually nine by nine. So? <laughs> that one's a nine by nine if you add the corners. Okay. Alright. Assemble away. It is assembled, and it is beaming. And I am standing in the beam. And we need to power, so a, a fluxy pointy thingy. I have one. Going to grab, you go, okay. And then we're gonna need to put something like an ender chest into the ME system. Can't believe I just zipped right under the power lines and I was trying to go over them. You can actually just zip right through them. Without breaking them? Uh, I'm not sure about that, but without da without taking damage. Yep, I saw a couple ores go in. It's working. Yeah, yeah. So out of this, we need a rhodium.
But yeah, because the erodium crystals that come from this, you know, amongst everything else that it, that it harvests, um, we need those for the tier two. And then the tier two miner harvests the sapphires. It, it doesn't go very fast. When I first put the chest down, I saw like a coal and an iron ore go in. But even still, having that stuff going in, it's beneficial, so. Well, it says duration 400. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. That's, I think it's 400 ticks per cycle or something. That, that'd be about 20 seconds. But, so yeah, that's... Uh, there's so 660 FE per tick, so... It's yeah. a good thing we did. I didn't go the full three three thousand on the spawner. Otherwise, we wouldn't. We probably wouldn't be able to upgrade this without more power first. Well, well definitely during <sighs> definitely during the week we're we're going to be get, uh, prepping for getting up to the tier four. So yeah, because the next one is a. Fusion control computer. Tier 4 void miner. Matter fabricator. A quantum quarry. Oh, wait. Matter fabricator gets us the uwu matter. Yep. Uwu. <laughs> <laughs> Which the uwu matter can t be turned into anything, so... Pretty much, yeah. Oh, wow. Can it be turned into platinum? Okay. Um... I, I don't know, is platinum even in this mod pack? Yes. No, it looks like a lot of the, the ores and the metals, no. But, uh, coal, enderpearls, feathers, ink sacks, ores, uh, emeralds, diamonds, tungsten dust, and ir iridium ore, titanium dust, copper dust, lead dust. Well, there's... Sequence break. And oh, aluminum and tin. The, the dust, we can then, what, melt it? Yeah. So yeah, it's, we don't we don't get the the metal directly, but we can get the dust. Then we can smelt it into it. Okay. So so as far as achievements goes, we're just waiting on the void ore miner to get us the resources we need. Right. Uh, how much erodium? Um, well, we need... It would be handy to have six blocks of it to upgrade the laser lens. Uh, we also need, for tier two, erodium cris uh, two erodium crystals per structure block. Per structure frame. And we need six erodium blocks for the... Uh, controller that's a lot of erodium 36 72 well we have a uh, one <laughs> so yeah it's, it's, we're, we're gonna want to have that running through the week maybe 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 uh nafk sit yeah oh yeah the, the, this is not the prettiest um redstone clock I've ever seen here, Foxes. But yeah. it works. Yeah, I gotta take a look at pretty this. Pretty much just well enough to get <laughs> at least one every time. Sometimes two. If I made it just a bit longer, it might get two every time. Or almost every time. I mean... Sure. I tried using all of the space available, but I didn't have enough. Uh... Well, I think one one's probably good, and it's the the we get two more often if the chances of it 
spawning were higher. So I've just after yeah. I left, okay. Sorry, I just there's a lot going on here. I'm trying to catch up with Maybe chat with it how I can. Somehow get the pyrothium to like the opposing corner as well. Oh, you can do that eventually. We'll just Yeah, it's just two two more uh users and then a pyrothium in here. I got that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I didn't check out the... Oh, jeez. So this is the spawner plus bikes. Yep. These two, why do you censor messages? We are slowly taking over the, uh, this, the end and making it... Making it hell for the end of... Yeah. <laughs> and he's right. They don't teleport away, so it works. Yes. I looked up exactly how far an Enderman can teleport, and it is 64 by 64 by 64. Or down to bedrock. And just 64 by 64. Alright, so we know what we need to be doing during this week. Well... Pretty much everything we have going should be able to keep this up. As point. long as we have the power generation for it. That's true. Because if we don't yeah. have the power generation, then we're SOL. I just want to take a look at that fusion thing. Really, the biggest the biggest power consumer is, is does seem to be the the powered spawner though. <laughs> Which we have that running so we can get more ender pearls for more power. Yeah. Okay, so for the fusion con uh, control computer, we need energy flow circuits, six of them, two energy crystals, and a fusion coil. Fusion coil uses four energy flow circuits, a superconductor, Iridium Neutron Reflector, an Advanced Machine Casing, which we do have extras in the ME system, okay. Nichrome Heating Coil, which is Nickel and Chrome. Chrome is produced by Chrome Dust in the Arc Furnace or the Industrial Blast Furnace. But how do we get Chrome? Floor. How do we get a chrome? Uh, somehow. Uh, ruby, nine ruby dust and three empty cells in the industrial electrolyzer will get us two aluminum dust, a chrome dust, and uh, three compressed air cells. So the elect we need to put the electrolyzer in. I think we have, well, we have the industrial electrolyzer, don't we? Yeah, no, I put you, it in the end. Oh, you I made it, it, you just, okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> put it in place, I just put it in the ME system. are broken. Ah, uh, mine's broken again too, so. I fixed it. You run into a wire? No, I just sat in the Sigean Acid. Okay, so the electrolyzer is now placed. Oh, Nick, thank you very much for the raid there. How you doing? <laughs> really? Hi there, Gold! Yes, okay. hey, Gold! Eight, eight minutes! Go, go get your units wow. in! Wow! 
That's not so, the first time I've gotten that today either. We need I don't the know ruby. what it was before. Probably the uh, okay. the implosion compressor. So the ruby dust and dust and what was it, Elgnor? Uh, oh, so that's why my game is crashing. Mine too. Okay. Now the, it's saying every mod is because of the crash. Oh, okay. Yeah. Empty cells. Got it. Yeah, uh... So... I'm gonna need to reload the pack again. Alecnor, I think I know why, why, why we're having to do that. The, the, the capacitor next to something else, it's, it's a rendering issue. Yeah, it's the, uh... Yeah. And apparently it's crashing my game and only making yours go weird. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm not having any issues? Um, well, I, I think cause it, it actually said something in chat when you yeah. put that uh, industrial the electrolyzer there. Yes. Yeah. So Fox is it, or uh, Thorn, if you didn't get that CCL error in chat, that's probably exactly what it is that's uh, crashing us, but leaving you in. Yeah, you can see everything kind of shifted halfway over. So me placing those Tech Reborn blocks crashed you guys, but left me alone. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think so. Placing it either, I think placing it next to the capacitor. Because when I went down there and looked, I could see the energy bar for the capacitor itself floating in the middle of nowhere. I didn't see that. I just saw. I just. I just uh, saw it normal, but then I crashed. Okay, so I removed the capacitors, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Okay, I'm gonna get the pack reloading. Um, I did get one chrome ingot, so. Okay. I'm actually gonna uh, step away for a minute, take care of a bio break. So I'm gonna throw the BRB screen up and leave uh, music playing. I got about ten minutes. Okay. before I'm going to be heading out, so... Okay, I'm, I'm not going to be gone quite that long, but uh, while the pack loads. <laughs> so, yeah, some, something about Nickel placing those blocks down chromium. glitches foxes so. and I out with the Tech Reborn stuff. So once this starts loading, I'm going to throw up the BRB screen. Get up, stretch your legs, hydrate, rehydrate, dehydrate as needed. Might make myself a fresh cup of a hot chocolate. Too. And what machine do I need to put that in? The rolling machine, which is um, already which is already down in the machines machine room. So, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna need to get more. Oh wait a minute, no, that produced too. So that that worked. <laughs> Foxes is back in. Yep. Because apparently mine loads super fast. Holy. I I'll accept that onto one. The chest. I'll accept that one. <laughs> Why? Because I punched you onto the chest? No, because I crashed you out of the <laughs> game. <laughs> No, that's what that's for. Oh my god, this is going to be a lot of grinding during the week. The first one was just to say hello. Hey, Alec. Oh, wait a minute. Alec North's taking care of a bio. Oh. If anybody is viewing my stream right now, I'm about to take a drink, and it's going to make my head disappear. The glorious things about a green screen and sprite bottles being the same color as the chroma key. Yeah.
Okay, so the fusion core we need to make. Ah! Oh, this is going to be such a pain in the ass. <clears throat> so apparently the nichrome heating coils was the easiest thing to make out of the fusion cell. Oh, oh, is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, because we need the fusion cell to make the, the fusion control computer. And that's the next next advancement. Oh, the but fusion the, coil? Yeah, the fusion coil. So, what all do you still have left to make? All of it. Okay. The only thing that's been made it is the, the nichrome heating coil. But we don't have... Do we have iridium? Let's see. We do All not right. have iridium. We don't. We cannot make the iridium thing. We can't make iridium. We can, however, make the, uh, fr the at least one thick neutron reflector. So. In other words, we should do the something out of nothing first. Never mind, we need tin powder. Oh, if it's just tin powder, that's easy. Just yeah, tin we need in the quite crusher. A bit of tin powder and uh, beryllium cells. How much Which, tin powder uh, you want? Uh, can you get me like three stacks just to be safe? How about Probably nine what? stacks? What? How about I do nine stacks? That works. Also, uh, do we have an electrolyzer? Uh, down in the machine room. Alright, uh, I need some ender dust. We have tin dust coming. No, I need ender dust as well. Which is just probably ender pearls to the crusher. Ender pearl... Nine ender pearl powder. Oh, there's the electrolyzer. Oh. Oh, we don't have any ender pearls in the system. It requires 16 and empty cells, too. We, uh, we don't have ender pearls in the system? Oh. Oh, okay. we're just using them that fast, aren't we? Apparently, because we have none. The, the ender generator is done, too. Uh, the, the ender pearls? Yeah. yeah. We, we need more ender pearls. <laughs> we need a lot more ender pearls. We might need to uh, decrease the uh, the speed of the, the, of the generator. Yeah. And probably get the mob farm going. Well, what? Non-stop. Non -stop, uh, non stop would be 16,000. The, the maximum power it can be given per tick is 16,000. Which is more than we're making. A lot more than we're making. Not to mention, even that's still not non stop. Okay. So, power. We need more power. Power is yep. a limiting factor. I, I was actually working on the uh, solar system, solar power, when uh, I crashed out. Well, what do you need help with on that? What do you um, need to, to make? Uh, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> hey, uh, Doran, can you get me some copper plates now? Oh, scene. All right, uh, I'll set it up <laughs> in the uh, just, just in time to clinch the victory <laughs> in the ME system to be able to auto generate. So uh, I'm gonna randomize these out. We got ten gold. Uh, I got I got the most kills. Gold and I tied for the most kills there. 
But we got the victory, and I got the two Bakuman units killed. And why is it not just at the beginning of the list? So 50 Onigiri. So here real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm World Theater, I'm the green team. So if you have any Onigiri sitting around, dump them into that, that chest right there. Push the green team forward a bit. Okay, I gotta win three battles. I gotta do stuff with my armies. I'm not gonna worry about upgrading you or you. Let's see how much. Oh, I got enough gold. I'll do them both. Do I just make them stronger anyway? <laughs> you refuse! Okay, ME system now knows how to make copper plates. So, okay. So quest-wise, what do I have next? Three battles, ten units to level ten, gold healers. Okay. Oh. Because it's transparent. So oh wow, okay. So we're going we're going with tough one next. I, I'm I wanna throw down a healer on this one. Hashtag endless lovers. <laughs> Let's see, where's you my got healer? anything for me, uh, uh how many copper plates do you need, Foxes? Hey, I got them. Okay. Okay. We have all the neutron reflectors we'll need for the iridium. We just need uh, eight beryllium cells, and then we can make okay. the thick neutron okay. reflectors, and then we'll just need iridium. Oh, so you're making the empty cells now? Yeah. But the empty cells are just, what, tin and glass, isn't it? Or just tin yeah, and Yeah, I have two stacks of empty cells. Okay. <laughs> because apparently you need 16 just to get one beryllium. Five level five. How is there blood <laughs> in the refinery? <laughs> in the refinery or the smeltery? The smeltery. <laughs> Enderman spawn in there, maybe? There's enough light so that that can't happen. But there's 400 millibuckets in there. Um, Alexar, how long do you think we can keep power, keep uh, enough power with the Ender generator off? Oh, if we have the, the diesel generators running, we should be fine with the Ender generator off. I am. Setting it to redstone off. Okay. No. Redstone right. off lever is off. Because we still have 426 uh, buckets of diesel fuel going. Huh. Is that the, the diesel or the biodiesel? The biodiesel. And apparently there is stacks of ender pearls currently sitting in the uh fermenter yeah uh i think i found out why did i color code that wrong no I maybe i believe so yeah i probably have triple green on here and that one down there yeah, okay one second you did because there's a uh, sugar cane in the the hopper for the for the ender generator <laughs> I, may, I, may, I may have made them I forgot I had a triple green set coming off the uh, apples and sugar cane here when I figured the ender pearls are green I'll do triple green for the ender generator <laughs> ender pearls are teal <laughs> uh, do we need to crush these ender pearls by the way or do we need them whole uh, uh, for the ender generator whole and for the ones for what I for, for what I need them for uh, uh we need to crush them. So I will put half in the crusher, half in the ME system. Nope, can't do it. Oh, I'll do the middle one. Wait. Okay, so there we go. Okay. Half of the ender pearls that we that were in the fermenter are now in the ME system, and the other half are being crushed. 
going directly into the ME. Okay. It, it should be fixed now. And apparently I somehow picked up the ender pearls in which I threw into the crusher. Okay. Ow. Okay. So so that the ender chest situation should be fixed. <laughs> uh Maybe. Let me see. Fermenter is empty. Ender generator has ender pearls. Okay. And a single sugar cane. One of them might have gotten mixed when it got straightened up. Yeah, one of them, one of them slipped through it. That's all. Okay. Okay, I'm going to load up the fermenter then with some sugar cane. Darn, can you bring me up any ender pearls that are currently... The generator. Uh, the sugar cane from here and the apples from here are should automatically be going into the fermenter already. So yeah, the, the bon bonsai apples and sugar cane go all automatically. Okay. Where are you, Fox? I'm in the machine room. All right, I'm coming up with some uh, okay. ender pearls. They're whole, so. Yes, I must crush them. Uh, for the first solar panel, which I'm making just to test if it's actually going to work, uh, I need two electronic circuits. Which should be in the ME system already. Uh, there's two advanced electronic circuits. I need the basics. Oh, um, I'll make up the basics for you real quick. Okay. And I require more ender pearls. I will be there shortly. That's fine. You are busy. I can get them now. I have them on me. Oh. <laughs> Yes, I need a little over four more stacks. A little under four more stacks, actually. I got you covered. So what were, what were you grinding up the inner pearls for? Uh, for Ilium. Ah, okay. Because we don't have anywhere near enough ammo to do it that way. Uh, like I said, I'll be down as soon as I get the soldered um, boxes, and I have a butt ton of ender pearls for you. Yes, I only need four okay. stacks. Well, three stacks of ten. Oh, heck. One, two, three, and ten. Shoot. Door. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Thorne. You're welcome. 
rock the other color. Okay. We have a couple hundred ghast tears. Oh, that's a lot. That we can convert into ender pearls. Really? Uh, and there's mana can mana recharging for it right now. And on this note, I need to get going so I can make dinner for my kiddos. Enjoy the noms, kiddos. I will see you guys next week, for sure. Yep, have a good one. Get you all later. Okay. Okay, solar panel. I would say the solar panel works. In the end? In the end, I'm watching FE go up, and it has it has no night, rain, or storm ge generation oh. rates. That is much better than, than in the overworld, then. Oh, yeah. Not to, not, not even because of chunk loading, just because it's, it's, it always counts as being day. Also, soon I'll have all of the uh, beryllium I needed. Okay. Red alert. Oh. Raid Thorin, thank you very much for the raid. For coming in. Oh, Must I'm defend. Okay. Firing phasers. Pew pew. Um. Let me get the tech reborn. Yep. And Thorn, I, ju I just did what you did. Broke the solar panel, and I got the basic machine frame out of it. Oh. Which it doesn't even use. Oh, oh yeah, it does. Do we have an industrial centrifuge? I believe so, yes. Oh! Well, then I can make this. <laughs> uh, uh, for those coming in with Thorin that don't know me, I'm Alec Dor. I was one of the voices in his head. And for those that came in with Nick as well... Um, I'm Alec Nor. I like stories. I like story-based games. I also like doing, you know, other games. May, may or may not have a story to them uh, with others. Um, I've been known to put uh, pen to paper and make stories myself. Um, you know, we've been doing this levitated mod pack here with Ford and Foxes today. And now I need to remake the solar panel that I just made. So I forgot Tech Reborn stuff doesn't break do, as the block. Down in the machine room. Uh, yes, it would, that's where it's at. So generator, battery. Okay, got the generator, and I probably need to make the... Except it takes, except these machines take a very long time. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. So, I need refined steel, I need uh, redstone, and I need the copper wires. And I'm going to need two buckets of solder. I don't think that's in there. Nope. Okay. Still a ton of solder in here. Hey, Alec, no, why don't we have a uh, an access point for the ME system in the machine room? Because I didn't w think about wiring one over to there yet. That might be a good idea. Yeah. Especially since we're probably going to be using it more often. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be in and out of it a lot, so... Electrolyzer doesn't take anywhere near as long as the uh, centrifuge. 
And there, we can speed that up with overclock upgrades. I have all of the new trunk reflectors we need. Okay. And what is this ultimately? Oh, this is for the fusion thing. Yeah. And we still don't have Iridium, unfortunately. Okay. Titanium Iridium Alloy, which is good old fashioned Iridium. Iridium Ingot. Rise Iridium, Iridium Dust. And or Nether Iridium Ore, Iridium Ore. But we can get it from the Void Mine. At tier 4. Fortunately, yes. Okay. Which means the, the fusion thing will have to wait for that. Yep. Still doesn't mean we can't get started on. Okay. This makes four FE. This makes thirty-two. So we need we have eight of these. four erodium crystals now. Woohoo! Okay. MV Transformer, it's like a basic machine frame, okay. Yeah, because the HV Solar Array does... 2,000 FE. So 2,000 RF, I'm guessing a tick. Yeah, that would be 2,000 RF. Well, I'm guessing it's per tick and not per second, because that, that's a bit of a difference there, too. Well, if you <laughs> connect it to a capacitor, we can see. Yeah, well, no, I, I would need to make it first, because... Uh, <laughs> it would be 100 per tick if it's per second. I'm, I'm making... I've it's made one solar panel. Different. I've made one solar panel. That solar panel, I need eight of them to make the LV solar array, and I need eight of those to make the MV solar array, and I need and eight, eight of, of those them. to make the HV solar array, and there's an EV solar array, and then the creative. The, the, the EV is... EV uses eight of the HVs, uh, but it uh, output rate 64k, so 64,000 FE. It says 16k generation rate. Are you sure you're not looking at the creative for 64k? I was looking at the creative. My, my cursor moved. Yeah, but still, still 16k. That's you know that's considerable. Elithor, maybe we should build a second void mine. <laughs> it might speed things up a bit. I've, uh, I'm pretty sure we have all the stuff because we've still got eight more rubies. So I think we've got all the stuff if you want to go for it. Uh, what all does it need? Well, the, the, the rubies for the uh, controller. Uh, beyond that, uh, Thorin looked up the uh, other stuff. Yeah. Apparently, glowstone turns into gold in the center field. Okay. Gold, redstone, and helium. The helium is what I needed. Okay. okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get up to the uh, LV solar array right now. Maybe. Oh yeah. Also, now that the uh, now that the ender pearls have been used, I can. I'm gonna the the thing on. Generate. Okay. Let me. Trying to think here. Plug. Although, considering the fact that it doesn't seem to be a multiple of 20 for the generation rate, I'm guessing it is per tick. It is definitely per tick. <laughs> I was worried for a second there that uh, Thorne had taken the tech reborn wrench with him. Yeah, this is this is absolutely per tick. active. I want to have you inserting. I'm just going to go general power. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I have a flux plug connected to it, and it is uh, generating 4 RF attack. That basic one won't well, yeah. really help much yet. Well, no, and I was looking at the the flux plug itself. It was saying it was taken in for RF two. Yeah, I already knew it was per tick after looking at just how much was being yeah. stored. For, and then, uh, yeah, well, that also confirms the FE is to RF ratio is one to one. Yeah, which no, I had already. See also yeah. confirmed that well you you had looked at but did you you know see it in game it lined up with things i had seen in game okay well just because i i never trust mod pack authors to not have changed things until i actually oh, see, I see any <laughs> edited config saying otherwise either so okay though i couldn't access the redstone flux config so It's easy to check it. Yeah. Well, ever, ever since doing Continuum and having to make basic tools and basic vanilla armor in that EFAB grid, <laughs> it was literally an intentional time sink. I don't <laughs> trust mod pack creators to not be douchebags. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> levitated. No, it's, it's definitely a lot more. It's a lot easier to trust this mod pack does. Yeah. Compared to Divine, in which things were absolutely meant to be grindy. And I've, I've taken this stone out of those furnaces. Ah. No, I don't need it anymore, but it's good to have it in. Yeah, it's in the Emmy system now. How many, how many grades of infinity do we have now? 218! I'd, I'd say that system works. <laughs> also, Elignor. Oh, never mind. I thought you had picked up my, uh, my dank null. Also, we, we can probably upgrade them again now. Well, uh, given, given what they're cranking out, I'd say that's, you know, we're not using the Grains of Infinity quite that much, but no, that, that's I fine. I mean, the, the dank nulls. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the Grains of Infinity <laughs> Well, 
we would be able to if we had more armor. Although we do have the overworld. What is it you're looking for? Uh, Dank No Mark Six. Yeah. Yeah, but what is it about the Dank No Mark Six that you're looking for? Uh, upgrade. Oh, oh emeralds. Yeah. Uh, you do realize there's no resources in the overworld. Yes, but you do realize there are villagers. That is quite true, yes. And we, we have that whole slew of them here. I don't actually know where that is. Uh, over here, just off the farm. I cannot... There, there is the waystone. Oh! And it wraps around. Yeah, call for emeralds. How much call do we even? Apparently, we have no coal. How are we for rotten flesh? Uh, unsure. There's a cleric in there that'll do 40 rotten flesh for an emerald. 476. There's 10 no, emeralds. I do not want to take all these other items, just the <laughs> rotten flesh. I think we've been converting a lot of the coal. Well, there's a uh, 28 coal ore in here. And there's uh, a couple stacks of uh, end coal ore in the uh, dispenser here. So give me a minute, there'll be coal. Actually. I can almost swear some of this stuff is growing faster than it used to. Alecnar, how much color are you making? I just tossed the 28 uh, coal ore that was in the system into the crusher. Oh. I think it makes four coal per ore. And I, I turned the dispenser on, it dropped a couple. To check, make sure there for a second. I thought I might have broken the tree in the bonsai. Oh. We have a uh, no more coal being produced again. You have what? No more coal being produced again. Uh, go turn the dispenser on over the uh, the crusher. Just need to turn the the lever on that redstone clock.
how much of the world's coal have we mined out? It should be on. Ow. Where does the coal ore go? What do you mean? Where does it go? From the from the from the excavator. It comes from the excavator. Yeah. Oh, Alex. Oh, so I should probably turn on the pressure from the excavator. Well, no, there's. Well, there's like more than five stacks in the uh, dropper here. So I don't think we need the excavator running at the moment. Uh, I know Stream Raiders Battle here, give me just a second. Okay. I'll be right back, I gotta battle. Okay. Oh, we got, we got a few more units in here. Oh, wait, wait. Cancel and put in a... Uh... Oh, no, actually, you know, I did I did that back. I meant to do nobody over there, and I put the vibes over there. So here we go. I'm feeling good about this one. I have no idea why my healer went over there, went over that way first. But gold with the most kills with a five, no assists there. Gold didn't let anybody do anything else. Gold just wiped the floor with them. So, gold's gonna, gold's gonna get the two barbarians. Got my three battles won. So let's go ahead and collect those for the rogue scrolls. What can I do here? I can do upgrade my rogue, I can upgrade my tank. Okay. And gonna get some flag bearer scrolls, some mo more onigiri. Got a delinquent barbarian skin. I think I got a couple of uh, some more onigiri. Some War Beast Scrolls. Actually, that should let me level up my War Beast. My War Beast is up to 5 already. Wow. So let's uh, just pump a couple Onigiri into the uh, old group chest here. That'll let us level up another. Or the Monk. Leveling up the Monk. Said it was an easy all oh, five. Yeah. Okay. So we can come over here to the four or the three. You know what? We've been doing good on this run. I'm gonna do the four. I'm gonna curve up to this here, and then we'll we'll pick the boss. So a platinum battle for all platinum mad raiders out there. <clears throat> I should be saying those currencies. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to do. I need. I can't drop my healer yet. So let's see. I need to get another unit to ten. Let's go ahead and throw my monk in. And battle planning. I wanted to go none over here. There. And actually, I'll just for for anybody that has quests to follow battle plans. So I, sh I should be saying what currencies? The gold, the onigiri? Okay. So, oh, oh. Shogun 8 kills by my community, 8. 
clan of geniuses with an IQ over 180. They're always three steps ahead. That's, not, that's a pretty good clan to be in part of. Okay. Now let's get back to the game. Probably off stream, I will work on. Uh... So, yeah, off stream, I'll work on upgrading our solar power there. Because it's not very resource heavy, but it's a whole lot of grind. Okay. So is there anything else I can do? Today wise. So, uh, hey, foxes. Yeah. You were working on that uh, fusion control computer, right? Yeah. But we can't okay. make it without some of the tier four stuff. Right. That is the sapphire. Titanium and chrome. Okay, yeah, that's that's gonna be a. <laughs> Speaking of which, how much wood? How much uh, erodium did we need for level two again? Six blocks. So thirty-two more than we have right now. We don't have blocks, we have crystals. Yes, I know. Nine crystals go into a block. So, uh, 50 more than oh, we have. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was thinking, I was thinking four. <laughs> I don't know. Per block. <laughs> I, was think, I was thinking four times nine for, instead of six times nine. Why is there an Enderman in a pit over here? Uh... Why is there a pit there to begin with? That's... Hey! <laughs> I was gonna fill in the whole pit, not just the one spot. You what? No. Okay. Okay, I think I might see about installing the uh, an ME terminal in the machine room there. Then call it a day. Let's see, where do I want to install it? Here. So I've got cable coming here. Wait, Elignor, how are we getting uh, infinite water now? Oh, the end of wars. Do they do they create infinite water source? Yes, they do. You put two buckets in them, and the more you put together like this, the faster they create infinite water from that from those two buckets. Oh. I, I set this up last week on stream. Okay, we've got 620 coal now in the system. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and... More emeralds. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. Just let... I'm just going to let... The, I shut the uh, dispenser off. Just going to let the crusher finish what it's making. There's nothing left in the dispenser. Oh, we're going to have a lot of coal. Uh, it appears to be finished. Well, it's 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 still working on something. 
It'll stop the when items. it's done. The items are gone. Well, no, because they, they, they go right into the ME system. No, I mean the items are gone from the crusher. I think it has like an internal buffer. Well, Even though we can't pick them up. Right. right. Although that makes sense since you kind of can't pick your arm in there. Actually, if that is, dropper wasn't there, you could. Well, yeah. You still can if you have an ender pearl. No, if the, the, the dropper is just keeping you is too low. If the dropper wasn't there, you you could just walk right into it. I've done it. Yes, I I jumped into it. Hey. Hold on, pull it from here. Okay. So if I come straight down here. That's facade. Oh wait, I'm out of channels though. Great idea where to run the cable for the uh, terminal over there. I just need to figure out channels. Since the the ME system, you can only do 30, 32 channels. Right now. The what? Okay. The oh, I just can I have that facade back? Yeah, you uh, dropped a few things. <laughs> okay. Um, this cable going up is what the uh, rest of the terminals are on. At, but if you look at the this side of the, the if you look at the dense smart cable, we've got 32 channels coming out of this side of the uh, controller. You could, uh, so I'm I'm, I'm going to have to rewire a couple things. You could move part of this back. You could move that. You could turn this into a. Uh, Another well, no, no. What, actually, what I think I'm going to do is because this is all what's coming off the side. I'm actually going to run the. Here, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm, I, <laughs> it may take me too long to explain than just to do it. So. Oh, you're going to connect something to this side. Uh, hey, Foxes, did you pick up a cable or like a smart cable or anything? Yeah, do you want me to just put it here? Not there, but yeah. Ah. Yeah, that'll do it. Then, yeah, put the. I'm sure you just picked up another cable. Actually, no, I didn't.
They got tossed out front. How? Did the facade not stop it? No, the facade got picked up too. Oh. Okay. Six of eight, okay. Yes, that will work. Six of eight channel. Yeah. Do the terminals not... Yeah, the terminals should use the channel. I believe they do. Hence why it's now six of eight, because now it's also going to... No, seven of eight, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it's picking up the one in the front, too. Well, does the... Does the interface terminal not use the channel? It does not. Uh, nope, it does. It just popped back up to eight. It takes a second. Oh. Well, then we'll ha you'll have to make this a denser cable. Or attach that to something else. Yeah. Could just attach it to one of these. Well, but, and see, here's the thing, though. Well, yeah, no, actually, because I just freed up a bunch of channels here. Yeah. That had 32 because it was taking 5 from the uh, terminal. But I picked... I picked this up off the... It was relaying through the Crystal Growth Chamber. So why did it not... That should have dropped it down to 31. Be before I disconnected those. You're cutting out. Does the crystal growth channel even use? A, does the crystal growth chamber even use a channel? It does not. No. I mean, it's using the the interface and import buses on on and are right now. But the chamber itself does not. Then shouldn't removing it not have any effect? I no. I had this interface terminal mounted on top of the growth chamber, but it did not when I picked up the interface terminal, it did not decrease the number of channels being used. Huh. Was it actually at 33 somehow, but just displaying as 32 and still picking up the interface terminal? No, hang on one second. One second. Let me look at something here. Nope, I know what it is. What? There's another line coming off the bottom of the, you know, coming off a, a different face of the uh, the controller that runs over to the drawer controller. That's what the uh, crystal growth chamber is on. Oh, it's your mom. Oh, I see. So the pattern terminal running off of it would not run off of this face. Also, here's the uh, facade again. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should stop dropping that. Well, I tried to put it in a certain spot. It didn't sit in the spot I wanted it, so I'm not going to worry about it. And then place it in just some random spot. Okay. Still, now this should work. Seven of eight channels. Which yeah, just... Yep. Which... Since that's now on its own, directly connected, it can be upgraded as well. Right?
not just seven. And considering I don't remember when exactly I set that up. That just means the production rate for that uh, that automation quite high. Oh uh, Hey Oops. Do I even want to know what yellow fluid you just had pouring down all over me? Helium. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you want? It looks a bit more disgusting than helium. See helium. <laughs> Although how it's a liquid, I do not know. Okay, okay now the, uh, the crusher is stopped. Okay. Let's see how much coal we got. 1,210. Might last us a little while. Uh. It's only a little over two more stacks of coal blocks. So maybe not. Are we? Are you ever gonna upgrade the uh, the uh, storage cells? Well, no, because um. Oh. Well, we we still have. It's it. We're we're fine with the. Well, except for a couple of them. Yeah, a couple. The three of them are completely at max. Right, but the majority of them are just full with the number of items. But like this one here. 550 total items of the 63 types. So it can't hold any more types, but it's not even half full, or it's a little over half full of total. Isn't isn't that bytes uh, stacked total? I don't know if it's... it's no, I think it's number of I individual items. Uh, that can't be right, because there's uh, 30,000 endstone. How do you know that's all in one drive? I don't, but there's also 39,000 copper nuggets and 36,000 uh, iron nuggets. No, 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 no. 29,000 tin nuggets. Yes, because those nuggets are what's in the compacting drawers, not in drives. Oh, that's true. And I think yeah. and the endstone is too. Endstone's in a drawer. Is it? Uh, I don't see it. I'm pretty sure it is. Either way, if it's not in the drawer, that's... uh. No, yeah, it's in a drawer right back here. 473 stacks. Oh. Oh, so it is. So all the named items are... probably... <laughs> Basically, anything we had a drawer for before is still in a drawer. And I gave the drawer controller priority over the drives so that it checks that first. I need a formation core. Any color request for the terminal in the machine room? Uh, well, let's see what colors we're already using. We're already using what green, red, and blue, and purple's uh, the default. 
Let's finish off the the four the four common primary colors with yellow. Yellow. Do we have anything yellow? Uh, uh, yep. We have a yellow shimmering mushroom. So we, we have a dandelion, I can use that. Oh, we have a dandelion? We have three dandelions. We had four. That uh, is going to need a facade on the other side, too. Yeah, I, I think I've got a couple extras. But is it enough extras? Also, that is the wrong kind of bricks. Well, it's the only, uh, it's the only brick facade I had. <laughs> no. Oh. Hey! I've got a wrench that pulls those off without breaking them. And I was actually in the middle of using that terminal when you did that. <laughs> did you pick up the terminal? Yeah. Because I'm going to need to do, I'm going to need a facade inside the uh, trial room too. There, I got it on the right. I've got the right uh, facade on there now. You got this side facaded? Uh, nope. No. Excuse me. No, I do not want to make a waypoint. Hey! <laughs> I was making sure you were still existing. And hadn't muted yourself. There. Also, that's a lot of creosote oil. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, actually, it's not that much. It's only about... And actually, if you think about it... How much do you think we've had going into the trash can? Uh, not as much recently since this blast furnace hasn't been running. Well, people keep forgetting to take the uh, the charcoal out that it makes. Yeah. 
But I just put, there. there's mineral chunks in there, and I just put some uh, blocks of coal in there too. I'll leave it. If you run real short on copper cable for anything, we could probably swap out the copper cable uh, in the machine room behind these machines for uh, en for energy conduit. Probably. Okay. Take one more round here of uh, harvesting. I like how the mixed metal ingot just looks like uh, a bunch of ingots stacked on top of each other. Yep, and I've, got, I've actually got that set to autocraft, I believe. Yes, you do. Actually, I think I've got it uh, even set to smelt to the uh, whatever it smelts into. I can't remember off the top of my head. Advanced alloy or something? Uh, yes, advanced alloy is autocraftable. That's why we have so much bronze, because I made a bunch of bronze so we could make those advanced alloys. Advanced alloy ingots. What do you mean so much bronze? We only have, uh, 254. Yeah, I think we had eight before I made any. That's full of a, That's a lot of different seeds in there. How long do you think we can have the excavator running for? Um, well. Not long, because all our capacitors are out of energy, and for some reason we're not getting any more fuel to the generators. Oh, that's a problem. The, the f diesel is, is full. Biodiesel is 10.8 buckets. Biodiesel should be pumping in now. Should I turn off the mob spawner? For now, yes. Do we have wireless redstone in this? I have no idea. Okay, the diesel generators are actually off for the moment. Just turned them on to top up our uh, capacitors, which were empty. We are unique. Hold tight. No, it doesn't look like we have wireless right now.
Okay, for some reason I cannot get these diesel generators to run off the diesel that we have. You cut out again, foxes. Not that we'd have enough to run them for long with that anyways. Uh, he's down or up having the generators off? You what? Is the, is, is down or up having the generators off? The, the lever in the on position has the generators off. Okay, so down. Do you mind? <laughs> yes, I do mind. Okay. What is in the smeltery? Uh, blood and solder, I think. Yep, blood and solder. Stitching acid. Empty. That'll work. What other generators can we make here? Like right now. I'm not sure. I'm working on a different problem here. There's a uh, Tech Reborn diesel generator. What do you got as far as power coming out of it? Uh, output rate 128, so worse. I think. Well, I mean, there's no, no reason why we couldn't add it to. Wait, uh, why not add another compression dynamo? How much does that produce? 80 at most. Oh. I mean, we get two million RF out of one bucket of gasoline, but it only, yeah, it maxes out at 80 RF a tick. There's a pneumatic dynamo. 
And what does it use for fuel? What does it put out? Uh, I don't know how much it puts out. But it uses pressure. It has an efficiency of 84%. The output FE rate is twice the amount of FE created per tick. Oh, this is a, this is from the 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 uh, pneumatic craft yeah. mod, so we have to keep uh, air pressure going into it. Is there something it, other than the water wheel? Is there something we can use water for power? Uh, 2.3 buckets of biodiesel. Yeah, I know. The generators were set to on. Yes, I know. We really, we really do not produce enough biodiesel. Wow. Ow. I took your transfer now, oops. Okay. Stop, flip the switch for a minute. That that tells the, the what tells the tank whether to pump or not. Getting shocked makes my heart flicker between red and not red. But you know, each time you, you hit the power lines, we lose power. Maybe I shouldn't do that then. He says right before he does it again. <laughs> that time was accidental. I did not think it was going to hit me there. So yeah, I don't think that this diesel is not going into the, uh, why is this going up? Are we, oh, this tank has diesel now. Oh, the, the steel, steel fluid tank here has diesel in it now, not biodiesel? Yep. And it's pumping out of here. It's pumping out of one tank into the other. <laughs> yes. Alexnor, I think you pumped out all the biodiesel. Yes, 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 yes. I'm realizing this. <laughs> okay. 
Elignor, didn't you just get done telling get, me that Yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Is that off? <laughs> Okay, it's pumping back from one tank to the other again. Alright, so how much diesel do we produce? Biodiesel or, or just diesel diesel? Both. Um, well, as much as we can, but right now we don't have enough sugarcane or apples for the uh, ethanol. Well, uh, sugarcane you say. The, the sugarcane bonsai pot is automatically already going into the fermenter. So are the apples from the uh, bonsai pot from that tree. Do we need both sugarcane and apples for it? No, one or the other. It doesn't matter which. Actually, you know what? Then let's get more bonsai pots for sugarcane. What's our oh, potato supply look like? Uh, how many do we have at the moment? Uh, Five hundred seventy. Why don't you grab a few uh, stacks of it and toss them into the fermenter? It'll hold eight stacks at a time. As I grabbed the wrong items. Not baked potatoes. Uh, where is the fermenter? The over here next to the crusher. Uh, That'll start producing ethanol from those. And we can we can make more bonsai pots for sugar cane. Yeah, yeah. If you want to go ahead and do that. I have eight bonsai pots. Do you want to do them here? Uh, Say, so do you want to do them here? Or do you want to set them up somewhere else and then just pipe the sugar cane into? Probably somewhere else and just pipe it to the same place. Yeah. So here, take them back. <laughs> uh, You're gonna need sand and uh, and then the sugar cane. The green. Oh. Our uh, ME system is now dead. Yes, I know, because we don't have enough power. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... A slight problem. I did turn the mob spawner, right? I'll go double check. Oh, you're already over there. I'm already over here. You're the one with the bonsai pod. Yes, I did. And the void miner's still on. We might want to turn that off. It is not draining power. Well, because there's there's only 40 RF tick coming the in. The fermenter is draining power too. For right now, I'm gonna break this plug. You could just turn it off. There's a way to turn a point off. Yeah, just set the you just set the uh, limit to zero and re-enable it. Why do ME system use so much? Well, the more things you have connected to them, the, the more they draw. Yeah. This Enderman is after you. Ah, uh, he can deal with it. Oh, you can remotely disconnect a, a node from a network. Yeah. You can remotely edit them, too. Yes, I know this. I did not know this. <laughs> well, 
there's some biodiesel, but the uh Right, no, I need I need to make sure one tank's empty. Yeah, since the tank isn't empty, it's not gonna uh, It's not gonna end up here. Why are why are they uh why were they connected in the place? Because one had diesel, one had biodiesel. They were basically linked to be able to either one pump down into the diesel generators. But I don't think this diesel is the right kind of diesel for those generators. Uh, it, it certainly doesn't seem like it is. So as soon as we've got an empty one here... Or at the very least, it might be an internal buffer Wait. that still has some biodiesel in it. Okay. Just, I, I, I'm, 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 <laughs> we're having other problems. The one that's supposed to be emptying is filling. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Flip all the lever, flip all the levers until it stops. <sighs> no, cause this is gonna is okay. No, nope, it's biodiesel now. Oh, is it biodiesel now? It's biodiesel now. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. It's not a problem. Uh, should probably disconnect this one then. Yes. Avoid the cables this time. I say and then proceed to not do that. So this on, so this should be... Oh wait, I gotta reconnect it. Yes, you have to reconnect the, uh, thing. So you should be able to uh, turn the diesel generators on now. Uh. Oh right, because they aren't on. Now they're on. So that that will supplement our power and help get the power ME system back on. Yes, the ME system is back. I need to make an Ender chest. We uh, do not have any Ender pearls, right? I have one. Uh, are they st automatically? They they're still automatically going out, aren't they? Here. Yeah. You have your magnet on. I'm not going to be able to pick it up. Since I threw it down, it goes to Never you mind. first. I am going to be able to pick it up. I assume we'll just want to pipe to pipe directly from the bonsai pots, or do they or do they produce sugar as well? I'm sorry, what? Did bon do the sugarcane bonsai pots produce sugar as well? Yes, that's why the one under the cane we've already got going has sugar in it. Oh. Can sugar be be, be used? No, looks like it can't. Okay. Well, we could just ignore the sugar and lock it to only accept the sugar cane, right? Right, Alex Nor? Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. If you put, if you do a single drawer, yeah, you could do a. Or lock just it. a filter on a, on transfer nodes. Yeah, that too. Although I'd... that'd be a lot of transfer nodes, so actually maybe, maybe a drawer would be better. Well, we have a bunch of drawers in the ME system. Well, that's true. I'd have to lock it first. Yeah, and there, there's keys above the door into the storage room. Uh, where should I put this? Just on some random floating island? Uh, make a small pocket room down there at the bottom of the stairs into the mine area. Alright. What's this? doesn't really work when there's not really any room down here to make such a room. 
let alone when you don't have a door. So I'll just put it in the at the actual bottom. Do you know why we have flowing diesel here sticking off the side of our island? Uh, that probably should be cleaned up. Ah. No, I do not know why. I'll see what I can do about cleaning it up. Uh, Alecnor, you still have the, uh, the bonsai pots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it might be decent. I'm not sure what it is. I'm on my way to you. I should have enough, uh, notes. I got him. Okay. The trick is just okay. to close. That's the diesel, so I can toss that in. Actually, well, I'll... I'll... I'm assuming I can just make, like, a line and have them all feed into the... Yeah. Drawer. Yeah. Um, I th we probably have enough drawers. You could pipe, set the bonsai pots on each drawer, and then transfer from the uh, drawers into the uh, ender chest, into one ender chest. Alethor, am I doing something wrong? I'm not anywhere near yet. Just a minute, I got another pissed off enderman. Yes, I hear that. Oh, I was doing something wrong. They need a they they do apparently need a space above them. Yeah. Okay. Let's take. Still, uh If you come down here, you'll uh, see what I have done. Yeah. Okay, and then go. Yeah, plant a couple of uh, sugar cane. We got some grown by the door. Why is it not feeding into the drawer? Do you have any sugar cane growing? Uh, this is the one right above it. It might need a way to deposit the sand and the uh, sugar cane, not just the sugar cane. Oh, the sugar and the sugar cane. So yeah, I think you're going to need a, a two-by drawer. Well, I can just have a separate one for the sugar. That too. With a void with a void storage upgrade, probably. Yeah. Speaking of which, can you make me one of those? A void storage upgrade, I mean. Yep. Way is that facing? Also, can you bring me a sugar cane? Oh. <laughs> there, there's your void upgrade. Thank you. I did not pick it up. Oh, it's down there.
Okay. Clicking more. There's a sugar cane growing in all of them now. Well, thank you. No, I don't want to keep blocking it up. Oh, because it's... Hopefully this works. It does not work. Oh. Oh, that's why. Never mind, Eleanor. I figured out the problem. Okay, what I thought was diesel on the side of the, the wall over here. Destabilized redstone. Buckets of blood. Uh, wait, what? You know, there was three buckets of blood in the the chest by the smeltery at one point. I was kind of keeping keeping them in there for later usage. How much no, about... no, I figured out the problem. It was the uh, the wrong type of bonds I bought. Oh, I just had the regular one. I needed the hopping. hopping. <laughs> okay. Though now they are all growing sugar cane. They're growing it and they're dispensing it too? Uh, they should be. Crouch, look at the drawers. Is there a number going up? No, because they're still growing. Oh, oh okay. Well, it did work. We might need to expand that, though. Depending on how much ethanol we need. Honestly, I'd really like us to have a uh, constant supply that uh, is more, more than we're consuming in diesel. Oh, get me like 10 stacks of bricks and like 40 hoppers and I can probably do that. I have enough hoppers, I just I just need the burks now. <laughs> are, are we basically going to be cooking through all the clay that I just went over to the overworld last week and uh, <laughs> collected? I mean, <laughs> if you're not using it for anything else? You got 313 in there, go for it. Uh, well, we can't automatically craft bricks and I need to uh, start getting the transfer nodes which we apparently do not have enough chests for not chests are easy to make that's true I now have enough chests for them never mind I forgot to put them in the system <laughs> I have more than enough transfer nodes for items now. Okay. 
you've got a whole, you got uh, four stacks of uh, clay turning into bricks in the uh, furnaces up here. I am converting some of the space underground into a room for all of the sugar cane now. That was a bit too much mining. Oops. Uh, that did not ever happen. Unless it's not difficult. Oh, and I found some uh, gold ore by accident. Hey, toss it in the ME system. Uh, I didn't mine it. Oh, I have just killed myself with starvation. Yeah, eating is usually a good thing to do. Yeah, I, I noticed. So, Elignor. Would you like some food? Uh, no, I'm good. I would like some transfer pipes, though. Thank there you, you but go. I don't think that's going to be enough. That, that's what was in the system. Let me give me just a minute. Also, go ahead and make as much of the clay as you've gotten into bonsai pots. As okay. You currently can. Hopefully Thorne doesn't mind me using this space like this. Also, if the ME system cable management is bad, I don't even want to know what this is. Oh wait, those are just basic bonsai pots, not No, I have bit. the hoppers. There you go. That should be enough uh, transfer pipe to the stack behind you. It picked up to me, so it's <laughs> behind you again. I got it. Actually, do the hopper bonsai pots need uh, transfer notes? Yeah, they, 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 I don't know. I guess there's one way to find out. I can crank out some, uh, um, sugar cane real quick. I have sugar cane. Okay. Just because we got the levers down here on the stuff by growing on the snad. Okay, so the diesel diesel tank is full. Biodiesel tank is filling. How fast is it filling? But I'm imagining it's filling. Is it is it not actually filling? Well, no, because there's nothing in making ethanol at the moment. Are the uh, is the sugar cane not going? Well, as even as it grows, it's not going to grow very fast. That's why we need so much production of it. Yeah. Just so that there's, it's just producing more, producing it faster than it gets consumed.
to the point where <sighs> even the ender chest starts to fill up. Well, there goes some. <sighs> the annoying part is sugarcane is visible. 20. On these. 20. Let's see how many more bricks there are. Exactly one stack. Do you know what a living rock bonsai pot does for us? Uh, not really. I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm gonna Google it real quick. This is uh, more bonsai pots than probably anyone thought we'd ever need. Uh, never mind. Does it do anything for us? It uses up mana to uh, accelerate growth. If we had a steady mana production, it would be pretty useful. Yeah. But we do not. But we'd also have to make a uh, bonsai pot manager. And how difficult is that? I don't know. I'm just I'm looking at the the uh, wik the wiki for the mod itself. Okay, this should be. Oh, I actually managed to catch some of it in the drawer with how much we have now. It still isn't enough though. Also, your uh. Your hammer is a three by three. Yeah. My pickaxe can do can do three by three by three. <laughs> Couple of the modifications you put on it. Nope, just vein miner. Oh. Whoa! Actually, Eleanor, come come look at this. That is really useful for this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this could just be... We could just keep extending this. Also, I can do this. Just, just reshape it so it's a straight line instead of a block? Yeah. It unfortunately takes hunger, though. It's the only downside. But that's just a vein line thing. Actually, if I take some, of, if we take some of the upgrades out of the Ender Pearl generator, we could put them in the... There, there's five in the uh, ME system. I took them out already. Well, I'll go ahead and take those. There are six in the ME system. There might have been one in already. Because that would make the... That pulls out of the uh, nodes, though, right? Yes, but... All I'd need to pull... I'd, all I'd need to make it pull out faster from is the... One feeding into the... Oh, yeah, the, the transfer node feeding into the chest, yeah. Because everything else can just be only as fast as the bonsai pots. If we just have a super long line of them. Do you know for sure if the if they need the transfer node? I do not. I did not test that. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one pot and just see. If they don't, that will probably speed things up slightly. Yeah, I'm just gonna do transfer node or uh, transfer pipe to chest.
Oh, wait. What am I doing? Uh... Why am I manually placing the... the table? Here, here's some more, uh... Uh, hoppers or bonsais. If you don't move away, I can pick them up easier. <laughs> Just have about having you step up right into my face while I'm after I throw something down, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so do they or do they not need the? Uh... I'm I'm testing. Hey, uh, we uh, we had you. You managed to make me exactly enough to fill the. Uh... <sighs> this is not where that was supposed to go. Uh... You made you got me exactly enough to fill the grid we currently have. Okay, I've got the sugar cane growing in it, so we'll see if it transfers over to the chest without the uh, transfer node. All of these are growing. For the time being, I shall put transfer nodes on them. Well, they'll grow, and when it stops and cycles, the question is, does it actually transfer to a chest or inventory? Well, even if it doesn't, we just have so many nope. of them that... It does not. I placed the transfer node wrong. So you're going to think, if you, if you just having a hopping bonsai pot with the sugar cane in it, even just floating over air, it'll do the whole dump, regrow cycle. It's just the items just vanish. So we actually don't need the uh, sugar cane drawer to be sugar cane. We could have it be another set of sugar cane. You know what? Sugar drawer being sugar. It could just be sugar cane. Well, I, possibly, yeah, because we we think because uh, yeah, we were looking at the wrong kind of bonsai pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take. I don't know that that would do us anything. Oh, well, it it would it would certainly help it pipe through slightly faster. Well, no, because again, the the bottleneck is still the production itself. Yes, that is the biggest one, but... Do you have another node on you? I have, uh... 78 now. <laughs> Any particular reason? Oh. Because I got the, the, the pot and the sand and sugar cane that I just tested with. <laughs> Make this tunnel here. Actually, making these tunnels and, and not getting rid of them might be a good why, idea. Why, why, why do you make the tunnels? So that I can place the nodes underneath. And then I just don't fill them in case I accidentally break one of the pots and have to. Replace no. the node. Why, why, why not just put the nodes on top before you put the pot down? Because placing them on... No. Oh. Because then this happens sometimes.
Oh, these won't work. Now they will. Oh. Yeah, this will just keep getting bigger the more uh, the more we need. More. I think th th this will be a good start for now. So I think I'm going to do my last Stream Raiders battle and then call it. I will probably end soon too. And somehow I ended up with one of the transfer nodes too. Yeah, just go ahead and place it. Yeah, I didn't realize until I was already all the way back upstairs. Go ahead and place <laughs> it anyway. Anywhere. I still have uh, 30 left. Sugar King will grow in a garden close too, won't it? Uh, uh, I think so. But those take power to grow, that's the thing. These bonsai pots do not, which is why this is better. But are the, are the closest faster? If I faster, think so, yeah. Once we get this, start, once we get, uh, steady supply of power maybe we should start using those because I've got them for the uh, seeds for the uh, plant oil yeah it just deletes the sugar cane if it ever produces sugar cane you mean the sugar yeah the sugar not the sugar cane <laughs> Well, have a good one, foxes. I will see you next week. You too. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here.